HTML, or the hypertext markup language, is the language in which every single web page is written. And it looks something like this, right? So this is a basic skeleton for every web page uh, that you will ever build. And um, so here I have the editor, this is Eclipse. And over here I have a browser that uh, loaded this page here, and you can see it's blank. It's not showing anything, even though, as you can see, there's a lot in this page. Um, if we put uh, something like, you know, hello world here, save and reload the browser, uh, then it'll say hello world. So what happened? All right, let's look at the HTML page. So the idea with HTML is you have these tags. Uh, they're all preceded, they're all, you know, they start with a less than sign and end with a greater than sign, and they tend to come in pairs, right? So you have HTML, and then there's a closing tag associated with that, which is slash HTML. And your whole page has to be between those two tags. Your whole HTML page has to be between the beginning HTML tag and the end HTML tag. And within the HTML tag, there's two parts. There's the head, you see here, start head and end head. And then there's the body, start body and end body. So the head contains data about, you know, like it says right there, contains metadata and title information for the document. So metadata is data about the data or so information about your document. Here we see one of the things we're telling it is we're saying that this document uses the UTF-8 character set. Character set, you know, know that that's you know how the characters are encoded. Uh, basically, it's going to be the default, so you just always use that. And you can put other stuff in there like a title. Uh, this is the title, and the title we can save and reload. It doesn't show up here. It'll show uh, depending on the browser. It'll show on the top bar, right, on the, the, the top of the window. Uh, you, you can't see that right now in this video, but it's right there. Uh, so it contains some metadata about data, about the file. Now, this first line here is special. This, you know, is uh, less than bang doc type HTML. And basically what we're doing here is we're telling the browser that this is an HTML5 document. Um, so always use that. Tell the browser that, that you're using HTML5. Uh, if you you know if you need to use HTML4, there's a different doc type for that. Or if you're using XHTML, there's a different doc type for that. Those are variations on HTML, uh, but mostly you know you should stick with HTML5 for any new development. Um, so uh, this is the carousel. Now the other thing I want to talk about is there's three words that you need to learn uh, element uh, I'm gonna move this one here to element uh, versus tag and also attribute so this whole you see from here start head to end head all this stuff we would call that the head element so an element is everything between the start and the end of you know a particular tag a tag is just the the, the letters right head h e a d is a tag so those four letters form a tag in this case and so we have two tags but one element uh, this is very important it'll become important when you read the documentation to talk about elements and tags and attributes so here you see this one, the meta is a little bit different from all the other ones. We have the tag meta, and then we have this cars that equal stuff inside, you know, the the brackets, for the less than and greater than brackets. So these, these other things, this is the attribute, car set is an attribute, and whose value is UTF-8. So the element, uh, and you can also see the head element contains the meta element, right? So... The head element is closed here, so actually the head element contains the meta element and the title element, and the title contains this text. Uh, this is the title. Okay, so here's how you write. So those are that's how you insert tags. Now one thing. Um,
you might be wondering about is well if is uh, is the less than sign always denotes a tag how can I write you know it is true that one is less than two if you want to actually write the less than sign and you can see Eclipse already giving me a little warning there with a yellow line there's invalid character use etc so because you cannot use in an HTML document you should not use the less than sign although sometimes it'll work uh, but you should not use it like that you what you want to do is this replace the less than sign with ampersand LT semicolon this is LT for less than when I save that and reload it it'll show up you see in the browser it says it is true that one is less than two and uh, similarly for the greater than and uh, the greater than sign we can say and six is greater than four save and reload and six is greater than four right so we call these guys entities right um, put that in there so entity uh, save and reload. Notice also, so this is an entity. So notice also, you probably noticed that I have, I've been putting these things in here. These are comments, HTML comments. So if you have something less than bang dash dash and then dash dash greater than, that whole thing becomes a comment and it's not shown on the actual HTML page. The browser will not show it. Uh, as you can see, you cannot see that this entity comment so I save and reload it doesn't show um, very comes in handy okay so as you can see uh, uh, I am typing in in the next line but it shows together so I save and reload and you see what happened everything gets bunched up together and that's normal, right? That's the way it should be. That's the way HTML works. So this is where some of the other tags come in. So the first tag I want to use is the H1 tag. This is a header. So remember, HTML was a document description language. And so H1 is like the title of the book, Moby Dick. So save and reload. You can see the stuff that I put in between the H1 tags is now bigger, bold, and there's this extra space in between, right? And that is what the H1 tag does by default. Now, of course, you will be able to change all this with CSS later on, but uh, you, know, you should know what the default values are. For para, the P tag is the paragraph tag, and that is what you should put around your paragraphs like so. Um, I'm gonna add another one. This is a second paragraph. Say reload and you see now we have all this stuff together flow, flows together as a paragraph and then there's an empty line and then a second paragraph appears. And that's how you structure your text. So this is a third and then we're gonna put some lorem in there save and load and so now we have one two three four paragraphs one two three four paragraphs nice huh so it doesn't matter that you know what how many lines I have here those will all be ignored uh, you know, I can add empty lines there, save and reload, nothing happens. So all that extra white space I added, it doesn't matter. The browser will ignore it. Uh, the P tag is what I use uh, to define new paragraphs. The P tag also defines a box. It's this invisible box around the paragraph, which will, again, will come in handy later on. Uh, but let's say you, you don't want a box, but you, you do want to, you know, you want to have a paragraph here, but you just want uh, a break. Uh, you can use BR. So uh, the BR will just, you know, start writing left to right. And when you get to the BR tag, we just move to the next line. So it's like a 
I get enter in your keyboard, right? Um, you can also do it like this, and uh, it's the same thing. So that's the BR tag, the P tag, uh, the H1 tag. Um, this similar to the H1 tag. There's the H2 tag. You know, a story about a whale. Um, so you see the H2 tag by default is going to be a little bit smaller font. You can see this is a little bit smaller, but it's still bigger than normal text. And then similarly, there's H3, H4, smaller. H3 is still not smaller. Yeah, they're all bold by default, and they keep getting smaller until they get to the same size as the text. So the way we use those in web applications is the H1 tag is usually the title of the page, right? The big logo. And H2 would be like the title of a story, say if it's a newspaper. Uh, you have the story headlines, would you use H2? And then H3 would be for, you know, subsections in the story. And typically H4 is not used, and or 5, H5 or H6. Um, much at all. So uh, another text thing that you can use is the block quote. Uh, it's called block quote. Um, I came, I saw, I conquered. So when you, the block quote you see, we have that smaller there. I'm gonna put a paragraph here just so that you can see. So I have a paragraph there, and then the block quote, whoops, that doesn't make sense. And I have a paragraph there, and then the block quote, I came, I saw it conquered. Uh, and then we move back to the next paragraph. So the block quote, you know, by default will indent something and add it there, and otherwise it works like a paragraph. Um, and you can also have an inline quote here. So with the Q tag dollar sit on it, uh, save and load, and you see if I put this text here within the Q tag, um, the browser will add quotes, and otherwise leaves it the same. So that's nice for quoting things. Um, one few last things in the text department. Let me just just erase a bunch of this stuff because it's getting busy over here is the lists. Lists are very useful. So you have the unordered list, uh, which looks something like this, right? You have the UL tag, that means unordered list, and then the list items uh, as such. So one, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. One, two, and 50. Because, so if you want things in an order in a bullet list, that's how you do it. Use the UL tag. Notice that the UL tag, I'll put a paragraph again right here. So I have a paragraph there, then a UL tag, and you see it indents things, then it puts a tag, and then it puts the text. If the text is long, it'll flow, right? So the line instead of one, I had a big chunk of lorem stuff. I save and reload that, that's how it's gonna look. So it's going to get reflown nicely. And uh, instead of UL, you use OL. Say reload, and now OL is ordered list, so it's going to count one, two, three, and so forth. And there's some attributes you can use to change how where OL starts counting. Uh, finally, it probably the most you know, important one for HTML is you know, the hypertext one is the uh, the a tag right so I'm gonna link to documentation so h rep HTTP developer org trying to show that I think I'm gonna have to move that to the next line here. So I save that, reload, and uh, that's how you get a hyperlink.
right? So the documentation, so the A tag is the hyperlink tag, and we're saying the documentation is going to be the text, and when the user clicks on that text, you're going to go to this URL. So href is the attribute, and the value is the URL that we're going to go when the user cl clicks on that um, URL. Yeah, I got it wrong, didn't I? Uh, developer. Mozilla.edu the org yeah and which is by the way where you should go to find documentation on HTML um, so that's it